Ah, I beat Fry tonight. She didn't time it. Oh, yo, Menti, thank you very much. I appreciate you for the lurk. Hope you're eating something delicious. I never got more water. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> okay, so. Tonight, 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 tonight. We have, um, let's see. Uh, one more, hopefully one night. I don't think so, though. This may be a twofer. Uh, Silver Chains, another indie horror game. Um, and I figured after... After we get this one done, because I downloaded four games. I figured I'd play them at some point, and I had a poll on it. I played them in order of um, interest, we'll put it. And um, this one and uh, Ikai both didn't get any votes. So I figured I'd play them last. I was more excited to play Ikai, so I played that first. Here we are with Silver Chains. Um, so... What's after that? Uh, well, honestly, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking something more story oriented. Um, if we don't beat Silver Chains tonight, I will probably do a part two of it um, another night, but not tomorrow. Um, bring all the boys to the yard. I mean, obviously, that's that goes without saying. <laughs> What's up, man? How you been? The good spore himself. Um, so yeah, I think we'll start a new story game tomorrow, since tomorrow is actually my birthday. I figured I'd do something, we can start something new and fresh and fun. Yo, we vibing. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I figured, um, uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I am a fuck. I am, I am some type of fuck. It is. Um, so yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and depending on, um, how far into said story game we get and how good the story game is, um, I may come back on Thursday and just wrap Silver Chains up and then go back into the story on Friday. But we'll see. Um, but if there's any games that, oh yeah, I keep forgetting to tell people. You scroll down, right? Scroll down. It's okay. You can do it. Um, I have a new little widget down there that explains games that I have played. Um, I'm playing, and I want to play, and it's not super done. Like there's a lot more I could add. I just haven't. You know, it's this. We're talking almost thirty, you know, probably close to thirty years worth of video games to add in there. So. Oh shit, Wheeler with the host! What up, buddy? I'm sure you're watching hockey, and I love that clip. That was the most potato thing I've ever done in a video game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that clip is fucking legendary. Just went to overtime? Oh my god, your poor soul. I mean... If the next goal you see is a good goal... You'll be a little excited, I'd say. Um, my stuff, yeah, dude. I'm glad the Bruins are in it because I know I know that feeling all too well, uh, and it's nice to kind of just backseat and enjoy shit. It's been an amazing game, win or lose. Yeah, and like you were saying in your Discord, they're up 3-0 anyways. So like, it's not the end of the world if you lose tonight. Um, Plus, you get to go back home and play the next game, so... But, I mean... Anytime you could close the series out, obviously you want to see them close the series out. Regardless, sweep or not, you know? But... So, yeah, so thank you for the host. I totally understand if you completely just divert your attention elsewhere. And cheers, by the way. Um, okay. Once it starts, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the intermission's just long enough for you to sit there and stress out about it for that much longer. What the hell is under my mouse pad? Oh. God damn it. 
I need to do something about you. You are fucking always in the way. There we go. That's probably good, and I'll just do this. That's... Yeah. That's doable. Okay. Where was I? Before Wheeler jumped in, I was talking about something. And now I don't remember it. God damn it. Um, regardless. Tonight, Silver Chains. Um, I don't think we'll be able to beat it tonight. I looked. I think I looked how long it takes on average. It was like four to five hours. It's That's a twofer regardless. And we started late tonight. Um, tomorrow, birthday stream. Uh, we'll start a new story game. I don't know what it is yet. If you look up something about your milkshakes, all about the milkshakes. Uh, if anyone takes a look at the little widget down below that talks about the games I have played, am playing, want to play. If you find the games in the want to play, you think I should play it tomorrow, let me know. Um, and... Yeah, it's a juggernaut, bitch! I won't be on for your birthday stream, so... Oh, Wheeler. Touch my heart. Cheers to you, sir. God damn it, Fry. Thank you so much for the biddies, man. I appreciate you. Um, so unconfirmed for tomorrow as well. Um, I'll probably do it because it's been a while, but a Jugtober milestone from last year has never been redeemed. And it dawned on me when I was on vacation last week, and I said, huh, I gotta figure something to do with that. We never had the discounted bit, uh, the discounted sound alerts stream. And what better way to have discounted bits than on my birthday? Go, yes, oh yeah, Fry, yeah, Fry, of course, yes, yes. Elysian and Summoning the Lich are playing here tomorrow. Gee, mm -hmm. Hear me out, the Stanley Parable. Yeah, yeah, no, we do. We talked about that. It's I don't own it yet, um, but I don't think that's really a like. It's not when I say story. I mean like there's it's a multiple stream night. Like it's or multiple streams to get the game done. Like more than just half a stream, full stream, maybe even two streams. Um, so like, but yeah, it's that's gonna be on the list for sure. Absolutely. I played the OG Silly Parable, and it was one of my faves that year. Yeah, no, I, I I remember hearing a lot about the the first one, and I heard the second one's even better. Set a date, and I'll go 50-50 on it for you. No, 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 no. I, I, I'll get them, I'll, but I'll let you know when we do it for sure. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, let's see. We've been on... Oh, God. I've already been on for almost 15 minutes, and we're still sitting here shooting the breeze. Um... Let's play some Silver Change, shall we? Why did you not work? Thank you. Fucking bastard. So yeah, we're, uh, I, I did everything in the options already. We should be good. Let me know if uh, any audio or uh, video... Or, sorry, audio or visual issues. Please do let me know. It might be the best fourth wall breaker ever. Interesting. God. Uh, Where the hell was I heading? Dude, look, look at this fucking truck. What year is it? Uh, let's hope I can get around the back. I can't just leave. I knocked down this whole fucking tree and some... Wait a minute. So I hit this thing. I don't see any big branches snapping off to make whatever the fuck that is. Okay, well, we'll go with it. You know what? Good thing there's a random house down this way we totally weren't heading. We can use their, uh... Oh, never mind. We probably don't have phones yet. I'm so close. Is someone even help me? Hmm. AV looks great. Over the river and through the forest to Grandma's house you go. Thank you. Thank you very much for the heads up. Uh, this this house doesn't look problematic at all. 
Never. Whoa. Anyone else here? No? What up, dog? Oh, good. Um, that person disappeared before the light disappeared. That's worrisome. Jesus. This man's got a fucking bad concussion. Alright, so this is... So the game just ended, I think. I feel like the rest of this game... I'm already dead. This is the Bruce Willis story. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> uh, I can't control anything. I hear some whispering. Okay. <laughs> nice. Who's Peter? Wait, it was you. No. Now I'm in the house. How do I get the last thing I remember is an accident in this house, but I passed out in the backyard. I didn't see the rest of that. Is there a... Oh, look at that. I passed out in the backyard. How did I get here? I should look around. A locket. A locket with the photos inside. That's me and some woman whose face I cannot recognize. Oh, so this man is fucked. He is definitely concussed with some amnesia. Um, is that a T or a G? I think it's more of a J. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> me. What the fuck? <laughs> Wow. Okay. That's one way to play with a bunch of dolls. The pictures are always so blurry. I do not like how you open doors in this game. That is not okay. Ugh. Okay. What the fuck? The key in the library? Hmm, what could be there? Jesus. How do I, uh... What am I, what am I doing here? I got no mouse control. All right, not that, the two different pause buttons. Um, it said I needed a key, but it looks like it's already open. Doesn't look like it's already open. I guess that's just like some weird thing, whatever. Whack them open. <laughs> All right, what's this say? Press that open inventory. All right, I know that. October 31st, 1900. I'm left completely alone. All of the maids resigned out of fear for their lives. Can't blame them. I would run away too, if I could. But what's done is done. I cannot hide. I cannot sleep. I hear them laughing and talking all the time. Okay. This demonic giggling, it's driving me crazy. I know there's only one way to get rid of all of this. This is my last entry. Goodbye. Oh... Lord. <coughs> that is not good. Jesus Christ. What happened here? I mean, you just read that note. We kind of figured it out. Eveline Manning. Okay. Ooh, I can open up the closet. Oh, great. There's a hide mechanic. Oh, I hate it. Great. So dark in here. Oh, well, let me go in there because it's so dark. Oh, okay. Interesting. I can't open that door. Time to go back through the uh, baby dolls, I suppose. 
Also, this thing didn't open. Oh, I guess not. All right. We move forward. Uh, way too fucking dark in there. And God, that is just. Ooh. Oh, fuck off. Locked. And I can't go in here, it's too dark. It let me go in there, I don't like it. Uh oh sick, a Ouija board in the Oh boy. Oh no special message in the blocks, that's too bad. All right, all right. Very funny jokes. Also, I like how there's electricity. Now, can I open the door? No? Okay. I wonder if that opened, if it turned on any more light. Oh, because look, now there's... Wait, was that light on before? I don't remember. I wonder if that turned on lights in, in this hallway, though. It's so dark nope. Here. Can't do dick with that door. Uh, bro, I got nothing for this. Okay, so there's no way to, like, dick with that at all. The key in the library. So we have to get to the library to get that key, I'm assuming. Fine. Tree, buddy. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you, my friend. I hope all is well. Alright. Um. I can't interact with any of this shit. Look, I'm seriously pressing E around everything. Like a closet. Okay, that's why I can go in here. Still nothing in here of concern. Just that I can tell. The blood splatter doesn't look too good. Wait a minute. You couldn't see that before. <laughs> I can't, I can't, like, grab any of these to do anything. Doesn't reveal any other messages anywhere. Hmm. Um. So this is weird. The key library, whom, what could it, what could be there? Uh, a fucking key? can cut the rope what rope you want me to cut these baby pieces down I don't think I can just do that can I like select it no so there's got to be something on a rope somewhere that I can mess with Christ. Not that rope. That flushes your shitter. Alright, there's no point to hide right now, but fine. Your birthday is tomorrow? Yes! Yes it is, Mr. Rope. Yes it is. Because I don't have a... I definitely don't have a key for this. Also, I don't see where a key would go into that because I see four fucking buttons. But I can't 
So he says I need a key. I can't I can't do anything with this. I can't rotate it or anything. I can zoom. That's it. And I don't know what the where the fucking library is. It's so dark in here. Oh, just let me go in. Come on. I can't open this up. And that's it. That's all I can access in this game right now. in the corner over here I didn't come to this corner okay yellow It'd be nice if uh, someone could let me know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here yours is three days ago oh dude happy belated I hope it was a good day. So three days ago, that's Friday. I think it should be Friday. Today is Monday, right? <laughs> God, I don't know what day of the week it is anymore. Um, yeah, I mean Friday. That was. I hope you had a good one. Um, I don't remember where you are in the world, but I know on Friday here was a pretty good day in terms of weather. <clears throat> nice shoes also why is what's all over the ground down here it's like blooded jizz fucking gross And I can't do anything with any of this. <coughs> There's no interact button. I can't... <coughs> oh, wait. What's this? I didn't see that before. Fuck off. That's so obnoxious. Oh, is this thing not run on batteries or anything? I don't see a meter anywhere. Cool. All right. We'll just leave this fucking thing out. Now we're looking good. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're looking good. There's light on the other side of that, really. I could have made that. But I get it. They want you to have this with you before you set out to the game. Oh, God. The crawl mechanic sucks, too. I mean, it's good. The immersion is there, and that's why I hate it. <laughs> To be honest. Um, that's a lantern down there. Can I maybe not fall down there yet? I kind of want to look around up here. Yeah, it's the juggernaut, bitch! That's me. We are going to the Stanley Cup, baby. Very nice. Congrats to the abs. <coughs> Is anybody here? The house seems abandoned, but the lights are on. Maybe someone is here. Oh, I had to use the scissors to cut the rope that the flashlight was attached to. Save point. Alright, fuckhead. Not funny. Apparently I can't open from this side. What the fuck? Alright, give me a second. I'm just clearing out this room because it's open. You know, I don't think balls are supposed to act like that. That one's locked. That one's bricked up. <gasps> oh! What the motherfuck? What was that? Pretty sure I saw ghosts here. I need to get out of here. The way out is on the first floor. Good objective change. Good God. 
God, and that st- that my thank you message is still fucked up. It like updates. It's one behind everything. I think my I think there's a I think there's latent because I have a um a wait timer in my command so that it waits to read the file and I think it doesn't update fast enough or something. I think I'll just get rid of the name. September 5th, 1900. My maids heard me screaming and called Dr. Morgan after the incident without my knowledge. Maybe they did the right thing, but I'm sure that I heard that terrifying voice. I tried to explain it to Doctor, but he was convinced that it was a side effect of my medication. He said it may have caused hallucinations because I misused it. Excuse me. So I was prescribed a new medication, and Dr. Morgan asked our new nanny to make sure that I take it correctly. Maybe it was a hallucination after all. Something tells me that's not true. Do da do da. It seems the person who wrote this diary was troubled with hallucinations. Gee. I guess that's their way of trying to like sum up stuff about about the uh, the story and the gameplay rather than having to read everything if you're in a rush. Like how this book is open. Random page. Can I open this? Oh fucking hate that. Yellow. Yo, little boy. Uh, I don't know if you lived here or something, or if this is your diary I'm reading. Okay, ah! I'm hoping uh, I can just leave, if that's possible. Mr. Fathom, how are you, sir? Welcome in. We are playing Silver Chains today. We basically are in, like... The 19, I think we're in the 1900s because we're driving some really old looking truck. The game started with us outside of the truck, wrapped around a tree in front of this property. Let's play. Fuck me. Give that just fucking scared me. Like the door didn't even slam, it just shut. Uh oh. Alright, what's in the tub? Oh, it's a boat! Don't do it. <gasps> I knew it. I fucking knew it. God damn it. Give it to me. Rotate. I'm using the one. Oh, I can rotate this one. Important. Don't forget to lock the back stairs door and leave the key in the utility room. P.S. Children are allowed to play in the kitchen. Okay. Back stairs door key should be in the utility room. Okay, I'll do my best to remember that. Sup, sup. I like how you checked the ceiling. All right. After Visage and a couple other games with things on the ceilings, like uh, V696, I check all the corners. Every last motherfucking corner. Can I have some fucking music, please? Visage <laughs> comes to mind. Yeah. Oh, Shoes, thank you for the lurk, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming in. Fry, can we give Shoes a quick shout-out if you have a second? Probably going to fall asleep, but I will stay logged in. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate you also uh, lurking as well. There's another note here, I see. Come in. Oh my cute little thing made with her, her little jacket and her toolbox. And these guys are all decked out. Hey, guys. It's just me. <laughs> what key is that that I just picked up? Key from an envelope. Awesome.
I don't know why I'm pushing this, but I'm pushing it. Like, I, I really didn't understand that at all. Jesus fucking God. I can't open this? I can't, like, pry the wood open right there? Or do I need something like a, um, maybe, I, maybe there's a crowbar nearby or something similar. Oh, yeah, I can't get into that one. Oh, there's a fucking key right there. This must be the utility room, maybe? I don't know. Or it's just for this thing. Fuck. There's gotta be something around here they can use to help me. <sighs> wake me up in terror. Is it, is there any other to wake? Any other way to wake up? Fuck off. Your tricks are not funny. I'll have to check downstairs, I guess. That's still locked. That's still locked. That's still locked. Still nothing in there. Still probably can't open this. Nope. That's definitely locked. No key there. Let me head over here. Cross a route. I can't go that way. It literally just will not let me. Can I drop down? No. Alright, so the whole time me being careful to not fall down there... Uh, did not fucking matter. So there's that. Now what? <laughs> I'm, uh... Greatly concerned with what I'm supposed to be doing. More stairs to get up there? Jesus. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be a doorknob. And I'm like, that's seriously gonna... Like, I can't just move that? But no. That's part of the chair... Leaning up against a window. So I could tell that this game is going to be on for a, maybe another stream or two. Because I'm just not picking up what I'm supposed to be doing here. Like, do I go back in here again or something? Try this door again? Okay, nothing there in the mirror. What's this? Important, don't forget to lock the back. I, wait, I thought I took this. Oh, I can't take it. Oh, that's dumb. Part of the wall looks weird over here. Can't do anything with it though. What? What, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Enjoy your rocking chair, though. Rocking chairs are pretty boss status. Speaking of chairs, uh, so for my own birthday tomorrow, I bought myself a birthday present. Uh, it comes in on Thursday? Thursday. I bought a Secret Labs gaming chair, and I'm very excited. It's the XL one. Um, so my fat ass can fit on it. And it actually has an option, like, so as opposed to just, like, so I, I have the back, where is it? So here's the back, and I can, like, you know, woo, ah, you know, you do that with every fucking chair in existence that's considered a computer chair. <coughs> so it does that, but it also has another one on the other side, and when you pull that, the back goes back, and the seat lifts like this way too so like you lift your whole fucking legs up in the air like true fucking recliner yo one speed what's up buddy um game's okay so far i'm definitely definitely going very slow for how i expect what seriously that's what i was doing here i need something to reach for the key oh 
I'm going to hack your stream and install a button to eject launch you out of the new chair. I dare you, sir. So I need to find something to reach the key. I didn't even think about looking through. I didn't know there was a hole there anyways. Because I'm like, why am I pushing this? And I just didn't look up. Of all times, I keep looking up around every corner. I even looked at that hole right there, too. And I went, oh, there's a key. Okay, so what can I use? All I have is this locket. So that's not very helpful. So one speed, I uh, I saw you put a poll up, but I didn't look at the results. Um, what game are you going to be playing next? Paper with that note on it. There's legit nothing here. There's really nothing here. Go back through here. Nothing hanging up on the walls anywhere to grab. Still can't open this door. I don't have a key for this still. Um, that's to hide. Back in this main room again. Yeah, go ahead, wheelchair and fucking horse. All right, there's nothing else in here that's going to be helpful. And I wonder if I shut this off and now use the light. See, it still shows up, and then if I take the light away, I can't tell. Still locked. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck. So I need to play this game any game. Um, any good? Uh, I mean... Uh... It's not very good at explaining what you're supposed to be doing. Like, they do give you, like, they'll give you a hint here and there, and it's like, okay, I got it. But then other times, it's just very, just not helpful at all. Like, this thing here, what was that? I'm pretty sure I saw a ghost. I need to get out of here. The way out is on the first floor. I've had that there for a while. <laughs> the only item I have on me is this torch and um, a locket. And there's a, a picture of me and a woman in it, and I don't recognize who the woman is at all. Uh, the game started off with apparently you get into a car accident. Uh, so this game is, you, you are basically a, uh, you were in a car accident like the early 1900s. And like you just wrapped your car truck thing across, uh, basically into a, a tree. And the game starts with you outside of the truck, like after the accident. And all you see is this house in the background. You don't know where you are. Um, so we came in here, or we tried to come in here, and we passed out as we and as we got to the front door, and we woke up inside the house. And we have since seen ghosts, and we're like, time to fucking leave. I've looked at this like six times. You can't take it though. <sighs> For whatever reason. That door does not work. Oh, it's time, baby. 
Yo, demon with the raid! Welcome in, demon. I love that Resident Evil clip. <laughs> How was your stream, man? I think, uh, what did I see? I think you were playing Overwatch? How'd you do? Did you get any dubs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fucking rocks back and forth. Yeah, this is a sugar knock, bitch! Hey, Wheeler! ABS win baby. Sweep. <laughs> ABS win baby. Sweep. Now, all I can think of is a, like the ABS club. The ABS club has swept the series. But, you know, that dude's awesome. Glad to hear it. Uh, Fry came right here and let me know. I'm sure you feel on top of the world. Head into the cup. So, yeah, so I have nothing I can use here. <laughs> can I use the locket? I can't even bring that up. I can't move my mouse. I can't move my person. I can just get down. Okay. Is there like twine around here or something I can take? Because I see a sewing machine. When I see a sewing machine, I think of like twine, string, what have you. But none of this is... There's just nothing. Yeah, we did think they'd win tonight. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes it just... it, it you know, Puck don't lie, baby. <laughs> but, uh... So they're in the finals now. Dude, that's fucking great. Good. First for honor, then Apex. Spam to a party, then back in for honor. <laughs> nice. Hmm... All right, I still can't do anything with this, huh? No actions or anything. That clock doesn't have any hands. That's weird. Wood in the fireplace, but no fire. Wait, what was that? Are you for? F okay. Now it's just to magically use it or some shit? Yeah. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I have to keep the circle. Oh, gotcha. That wasn't too bad. So now we have a key. This is, it looks like a lock key. Alright, great. Uh, let's try it on this lock first. Hey, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, so that was the utility key room, so this is the back staircase. Maybe just do the IRL stream when I get a new phone, since mine is shit without any packs. Sounds a little weird. Or wired? I think it meant weird. Uh, let's do I go upstairs or downstairs? I'm inclined to go upstairs because that's the opposite direction of the basement. <laughs> I do need to get to the first floor, though. So I bet you I can't even get into any of this. Yeah. Whatevs. That's fine. That's fine. At least now I know. So back to the second floor. Now down to what I'm, ass well, what I'm assuming is the first floor. Okay, so that's not good at all. Can I pick up a table leg as a weapon, please? I'm going to deal with myself. I'll play a hard game if I can f get five subs. That's a good goal. It's a respectable goal, sir. This looks like the kitchen, I'd have to say. Yep. August 21st, 1900. My beloved Harold died yesterday. Looks like this woman starts to have problems after her husband's death. Okay. What 
what's up with the music. I don't like that one bit. Meanwhile, I'm taking probably a week or so break from streaming. Good, man. That's good. Honestly, like, it's it's definitely, it can be a grind. It that's my name on it. Oh. Eagle Eye Achievement Unlocked. Find the children's height mark. Wow, that was actually an achievement. Huh. Just to notice that. Um, you know, for, for realsies, like, it is it is good to take a break when you can, if you can. Yeah, it's a juggernaut, bitch! <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, one speed. She's looking for you. Oh, boy. Okay. The warning. I met someone in the dining room. It was a little girl, or at least looked like her. She somehow knows my name and warned me about... Warned me about the mother. This house is full of ghosts. I have to get out of here. I mean, but we just got here. Alright, so I'm assuming nothing on the table over here that's needed. Apologies, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't hear you. I realized that I had the volume low. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh Jesus. Um, the game's okay. It's a little... Like, there's moments where it's not really clear what you need to do. And then it's like, you get, like, spoon-fed stuff. It's it's, But it's been okay. It has to do with how my streams have been as of lately. Just need to think of what to do from here on further. Yeah, a good brainstorming session would help with that, man. Your best bet is watch what other streamers do and... See what other people are doing. Like, what not as much what the streamers are doing, but what their chat is doing. What makes people, you know, continue talking and, you know, and really just want to be part of the stream rather than just lurk. Now, there's nothing wrong with lurking. Do not get me wrong. That is not what that's about. Um, more so, you just, you want that interaction so that most people that are in a, that want to interact with streams are going to find your stream and be like, "Oh, this guy's the shit. I'm coming back." Yo, Sass is here too. What up, Sassafras? We love lurkers. This is true. It is very true. I just think, and it's and I don't take lurkers for granted. I just feel like the amount of lurkers is much less than the amount of people that are actually going to want to watch and interact with the stream. I, at least in, at least in my experience, of course. Um, but I mean, honestly, one speed's probably your guy to talk to guys, an absolute fucking legend. Uh, I mean, he put, he puts together big, crazy fucking streams. He pales. So all lurking is demon. It's basically what I've been doing is you're you're not you're not actively like in chat and talking, but you have left the tab open of the stream and um, you leave volume on to it has to have at least one percent volume. And then after that uh, I, you can just kind of leave it alone. And what that does is it gives you, it basically adds a viewer to your numbers. Um, it's kind of, it's not like a cheap thing, but it's just, it's, it's a thing, it's a culture with Twitch is what happens. <clears throat> I've been having good viewers, but had an incident and basically ended my long stream because of what happened. And basically that is what made me decide to take a break. Oh, so something bad happened that, um, that really put you in a sour mood. Got it. Yeah. Then at that point. You just want to, yeah, take that break, chill out, reset, and come back. You're not a fucking small fry. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, something bad happened. Yeah, it's it, it does happen occasionally. Fortunately, I've had pretty solid experience here on the platform. There's one guy that came in and basically gave a spoiler to a game that I was playing once. And then me and Doc Islands were like, dude, that's a, like, why are you spoiling it? And the guy was like, it's not a spoiler. Oh, thank you so much for the host, Sass. Oh. 
That's funny as fuck. Okay, I'm going to read this now. August 17th, 1900. Dear Diary, the day before yesterday, my Harold came back after a long journey. I missed him so much and our children couldn't be happier. Finally, the whole family was back together. Yesterday we spent all day together and he told us stories of his adventure. He brought us so many presents. Our children were very excited about all the toys and dolls that he brought. Harold's feeling unwell after a long ride home. I think he's just tired. I'll go draw him a nice hot bath. Motherfucker died like a week later. I'm pretty or something like that. I hit the wrong button. What happened for such a short time? So August seventeenth, Harold comes home and isn't feeling well. Four days later. Four days later, that piece of shit died. Who? I don't think he's a piece of shit, but still, four days. Did I ban the guy? Uh, no, we end we ended up saying like, hey, just you know, we told him to stop, and he just he took it really personally. Um, so he just left, and uh, that was that was it. Apparently, I could play piano. Didn't realize I could do that. I didn't have to hear the end of that clip and get your poor eardrums blown clean out. <laughs> My man. The pianist. Somewhere in a different world, you feel a door opening. What? That's kind of weird. I mean, that sounds like a door opening. It's a big old camera. Nothing to pick up any. I didn't like that. Jeez. Um. I just need to think of what to do and maybe be a less R-rated streamer and chill it back a bit because that's how the incident occurred. Was talking about some bad stuff with my friends all still within Twitch terms, but just made maybe need to chill it out. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's for sure. Jesus, fuck. I mean, I, I feel that I definitely get to I get to points with some some of my friends that come through here, and it, it gets it gets pretty r-rated at times of course within tos as you put it um but yeah th it's it's good to bring it back and just keep it real uh the best you can but i don't blame you but it's a good good on you for at least recognizing that and wanting to change and take a little break and you know and you'll come back fucking ready to go how's the game so far uh so it's it's good I'm liking the overall atmosphere. Um, the problem is, is that there's been some moments in the game where I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And it takes a bit to really kind of figure it out. Like, there's so many fucking locked doors. <sighs> but like finding, just basically anything you can pick up in this game is important, <laughs> as I find. <gasps> oh shit I can't go that way oh god there's the fucking closet oh no I'm dead get me Oh, gross. Oh, hell nah. Welcome in, Tellers. How you doing? I feel like your... I feel like your name is very familiar. Tellers 233W. I feel like I've seen your name in a chat before. And I don't know why. Obviously not here, because it says your first time uh, chatter. So, I mean, so obviously welcome to my channel. Uh, but how did you find us today? Good can't sleep. Ugh. That's the worst. Well, hopefully I can bore you to tears so you pass out and get a good night's sleep. 
All right, so this is stupid. I hate that it like gives me the jump scare noise well before she even showed up. The bony ass bitch. Oh, this. Insomnia problems. Oh, I've been there. Hello there. Yo, Twisted, what's good, my buddy? How you been? Yeah, it was Danger. Here. What are you doing, Twisted? What is that? Um, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, let, let's give it a time out here for a second. I Holy shit. I can't bring my inventory up in here. I can't do anything. I'll just do that. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for those bits, my friends. Um, so real quick. <laughs> sharing the love. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. Um, that calls for two whiskeys. Jesus. My goodness. Yeah, thank you, Fry. Read my mind. Oh, this fucking game. Oh. I was waiting and it didn't happen. But I was waiting and waiting. Jesus. Um, uh, B, I know that game. Oh. Oh. I actually have, I downloaded the VOD. I have it. And I'm going to do a highlight video of it. But holy fuck. That was merciless. It's a little farther in that clip. Uh, okay. I probably have something set to be too short. Uh, I haven't touched the configuration of that plugin in a while damn we're running low here good thing i bought that maker's mark it's all good most of most around 30 seconds yeah once i got the like the the clip command working and i have a clip command also on my touchpad um it just does the 30 seconds there's really, I haven't found a way to make it be less than that, which is weird. I feel like they're, it's probably just something to do with the API and they don't give the like availability to change the length. Yep. <laughs> All right, so number one for Twisted. Oh. For anyone that didn't know, we are drinking green spot whiskey. Oh. Is uh, single pot still Irish whiskey? <clears throat> From um, Mitchell and Son. Established 1805. From a tradition dating to 1805 comes the inspiration for green spot single pot still Irish whiskey. Triple distilled, matured and bottled. Product of Ireland. And 40% alcohol. Oakley, welcome in. Sounds like a brute. Oakley, how have you been, friend? Oh, boy. We have like one or two left of those. Nice. Let me pack this up. Uh, my buddy Twisted here just came in here, Oakley, and dropped a thousand bits. He's trying to get me drunk. It's very early and I'm tired, but good things. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you're in... Shit. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're in Finland? I think you're in Finland. Or I'm close. I mean, I know you're way east of me, for sure. And I, uh, I'm glad to be part of your morning. That's, that's fucking cool. That's correct. Yes. See, I remember things a little bit here and there. I prefer the good old Jack Daniels. 
Uh, you know, Jack, Jack has his place. Uh, absolutely for sure. Um, honestly, I just didn't have any Jack Daniels. I have the rest of the green spot, and then I have some Maker's Mark bourbon somewhere back there as a backup. Um, but the last time I had Jack, I think I bought a bottle of Gentleman Jack Daniels, and that shit, it's like... You're drinking it, and as you drink it, you're like, this isn't tasting good anymore. But by then, it's way too late. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. You like the whiskey? Yeah, this one's pretty good. I got this as a birthday present on my 30th birthday three years ago. Jesus, back, uh, back when the, before the world fucking stopped. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, you know. And it's funny because regular Jack is the opposite. Regular Jack, you drink it. The first one, if you're just drinking it straight up, you're kind of like, this isn't very good. And then after, like, you're like, well, I'll keep drinking because, you know, it's Friday night. Or, or for me, it's I just finished fucking shoveling the snow. And then uh, all of a sudden, you're like three or four, and you're like, these taste great. Well, anyways, Twisted, cheers to you again, sir. Ugh. <laughs> We're getting nowhere in this game, but that's okay. Uh, uh, uh. But I think we should jump back over. Alright, can I get out? Okay, good. Alright, so she's gone? Cool. Can I pick up these planks and lay them across to make a goddamn bridge? Because I can't get back over there now without going all the way around. It's kind of stupid if you ask me. Local distillery by my house makes this Cardinal Sin Envy Rye Whiskey. Pretty good. Mm. I find that I'm a lot pickier. Sorry. I feel like I'm a lot pickier with ryes. Because sometimes I get them and they're just... They're just... Okay, I scare myself with my own character. Um, yeah, rye's a little bit more picky with. Bourbon's, like, I'm not very picky with. I feel like I've liked most bourbons. W or S to move the handle. That's not the button I pressed. I need to do... There's something here I need to figure out. The question is what? Something wants to line up somewhere or something. Hmm. I'll have to come back to it. Finally caught me! You did! Stim Dealer, how are you? Oh, Stim, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the mob officially. Welcome, welcome in. You better be picky with Rise. <laughs> I see what you did there. They also make barrel aged vodka. That's pretty good, too. Interesting. So your muscly armed paper ball here delivers some good news. Mm, yes. Oh, if only Diz was here, he'd start doing all those lines too. Um, so funny enough, I was just thinking about you and um, your HIO link that you sent me. I actually dropped it in my Discord in case anyone else wanted to play it before I got to it. Um, how the fuck did I get back in here? Oh, this is a different bathroom. Never mind. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be playing your game very soon for sure. I just wanted to get this game handled first. And then we're going to do something uh, different for my birthday stream tomorrow. But certainly is coming up. What in the fuck? So there's this... Gives me some sort of clue just by spinning it in a circle somehow. I don't know how, but apparently that's a thing. It's 
so weird. This one too, Cardinal Sin Wrath Cinnamon and Chili Pepper Whiskey. What the fuck? I mean, I'd drink it. Nice. Yeah, the voting ended today. We placed 11 on sound effects and 12 on aesthetics. Yo, that's sick. And for a 10-day project, that's fucking fantastic. What the fuck is that? A locked door. Keep going. How many people were in this? It's, uh, it was a jam, right? Is that? I think that's what they called them. I can't remember. Oh, that's me making that noise. Jesus. Whew. Other categories weren't too great. There were around 950 submissions. Wow. Well, that's really impressive for, for sound effects and aesthetics, too. So of course I don't know any of the names that you guys that your you and your team used because I was looking at who did what and I couldn't tell which one was you. So what exactly did you do with the project? There's something behind this closet. Okay, we'll move it then. I'm tempted to try Mia Jikyo, Japanese whiskey. A friend of mine has one bottle. Ooh. I've had some interesting Japanese whiskeys. I haven't heard of that one, though. All right. So. I don't think so. I saved myself. I'm good. Too good for you. Too good for you. Too good for you. Oh! You basically wrote all the gameplay gameplay code, set up the sound effects and, v <laughs> and video effects. Then my partner did all the 3D models. He made the music and cinematic videos. And then we had a third person do some graphics for the UI. Damn. So you were heavily involved in that project then. That's fucking sick. I uh, I, I wish I'd gone into that. Like, I'm just now fucking learning Python, finally. Thanks to uh, my current place of employment. Wanting support to learn how to do development. So we can develop our own tools and scripts. So it's a start, but I think I have Unity downloaded on this PC somewhere. I just don't remember. Same here. <laughs> nice. Uh, Demon, that's the mother ghost. I was the code monkey. <laughs> September. All right, so let's let's get to this. September 14th, 1900. Dear diary, I don't understand what is happening in this house. I don't trust anyone. Oh, so this is before Harold got home. Last night I woke up and went to check on the kids. Right under the Roman nose to smell. <laughs> Fruit sand, welcome in. How you doing? Birthday, wowee. Oh, well, Mo's here. Now we're in. Now we're in for it. Python is where I started, but I don't remember any of it anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like that's what happens. Like I don't remember like PHP anymore. That was so long ago. I know mostly how to do test code and low-level firmware. That's sick. Hi. Could be better. I mean, I feel you. I had a pretty shitty day, if you ask me. But I, I'm glad that I'm here and, and be able to play some horror games for some peeps. And uh, try not to scare myself too much. Early, happy early day of the birthing variety. The birthing variety. That's a good one. I can't wait until Satan gets in here. He has the best way to say happy birthday to people. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. I'll let you guys see it. I graduated from college majoring in computer science like two weeks ago, so I know about Python and others. Yeah, you know, I saw you graduated. I just didn't know what it was for, but that's awesome, dude. I graduated in computer science as well. Uh, the problem is is that when I was going to school, and it's going to sound super fucking dated now, um, my first school I went to, they were going to they were gonna show Python at, like further down the road because it's more simplified than, like say, your C++ or C Sharp, your Java's. Um, and then when I transferred to a different school for my third year, they had done Python the first year 
So I completely missed the boat on it. Well, of course, I know Stim, you have a CS degree. We've, we've known each other for a while. I know this. Um, do, 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 do. I just got my MSCS a couple years back. Noise. Oh, did I miss something in chat? You guys are, I need to look. So I just found out that I lost a member in a head. Oh, oh God. Dale, he was a normal delivery route this morning when it happened. Both me and my dad are devastated. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's awful. That sucks. Ugh. Well, what I will say, what I will say, is it sounds like you knew Dale pretty goddamn well. So, um,. I would say it works best for me in those scenarios because I've lost quite a few friends. For... You're such a dick. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I guess he's sharp as he's throwing somewhere. At this point, I feel like I brought this family bad luck. Ah, you can't say that. You can't. You really can't say that, to be honest. It, you can't place stuff on yourself like that, especially where it's some like freak accident like that. Like it's no one caused that to happen. It, it just those things happen. Unexplainable. Um, I, I don't want to use the cliche of wrong place, wrong time, but it, it's kind of just how it is. I don't want to say fate because fate's kind of some level of belief which isn't really my bag um three family members have died since i've been adopted well i mean if you want to play it like that and it's because it, I, I don't think you're the cause of a curse or anything like that but i've lost probably 16 family members yeah 14 to 16 family members and probably eight to ten friends since I've been born. So how about that? Have I cursed my family and friends? I don't think so. I don't think you've cursed your, your adoptive family. Um, I think that it's it's a part of life. Um, it doesn't mean that your feelings are invalid. They're certainly valid, obviously. But just for me, I'm just letting you know that there's no way... I don't see you being a, a curse bringer or anything like that. It's... Life, life fucking sucks sometimes. It's just, it's just the way it is, um, and I, I hate to admit it because I've, I'm there quite a bit. I had a really fucking terrible day today, um, but shit, I feel for you. That's, that's rotten. That's a shit fucking way, especially like start of the week too. It doesn't make it any better. Uh, let me catch up on chat. Everyone's so talkative. My goodness, I love it. I love when the community is talkative and we're helping each other. Uh, I feel like they just either bad luck or bad habits. Uh, bad habits, what do you mean? Sadly, people have passed and families have more deaths than others. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Be all kinds of things, including just terrible, terrible happenstance. But it's not your fault. Not by a long shot. You being there is likely helping others get through it, too. That is a good fucking point. That is a very good point. Especially when you are there with other people. That bo So, like, for instance, you and your dad knew Dale very well. I bet you you and your dad are going to be able to share memories of the three of you. And that's going to help both of you. And the fact he has that. I, I will allow that because God I can't go more than a minute and a half with being serious uh, as I was saying you get to have those you have those experiences those good memories you get to relive them because that's that's what it's all about you you make memories with people like me and stim dealer have a lot of memories from when we were in training at our first it well my first it job um 
Although you worked on a submarine, though. That's fucking cool. I mean, from an outside perspective, it's fucking cool. I don't know about inside. Drinking, smoking, hookers. Well, <laughs> call me out like that. Oh, my word. Well, anyways, uh, Fruit, I, I'm glad you're here on uh, a, a, not a less than fantastic night, I will say. Uh, I'm glad you're able to... I, I feel privilege that you're able that you feel comfortable coming in here and opening up like that and uh and i'm glad you did um it feels nice knowing that i I, you know we could just talk and just be human in here which is great thirty three yes i am thirty three tomorrow man technically i consider this my only it job and i'm certainly going down with the ship at this point (laughs) Yes, I turn 33 tomorrow. Yeah, of course, Fruit, of course. Yeah, 33. Third of a century tomorrow. Ugh. So, if anyone hasn't figured it out yet, uh, but with quick maths and looking at a calendar, uh, you'll notice that my birthday is actually in my username. <laughs> If you've never noticed it before, it's blowing your mind right now. I promise you. It could be almost 40. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, oh, you're saying I could. I'm like, you think I look 40? Like, is that what you mean? I'm halfway to 70. Oh, stop it. Stop it. (laughs) Oh, my God. Just turned 21. Dude, those are the magical days. Oh, my God. I remember when I turned 21, I had two summer jobs. I was working as a bank teller during the day and making pizzas at Papa Gino's at night. And, my God, I'd always... It's so tiring that summer. And, and Oh, and I also had a summer class in, like, August, too, for, like, two weeks just to get a writing-intensive course done. But, um... Shit, I remember I took both... Of those jobs, I took a week off surrounding my 21st birthday, and I got hammered all fucking week. <sighs> I cut it all out of me pretty quick. Now I just drink because I like the taste of it. I'm trying to get fucked up. It's fantastic. Frankie D's. Oh, rip. Twisted, you're 38. You don't look 38, dude, so that's good Good on you. Demon's are almost 16. That motherfucker's going to be driving soon. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Fry's also halfway to 70. But now after hearing 38. Isn't awful thing in that light? No, of course, of course. My dad's dad fought in the Korean War and when he got back he died due to heart failure also. Oh jeez. Unbelievable, huh? Halfway to is so devastating. <laughs> I feel much younger after hearing all your ages. Fuck you, demon. <laughs> I look early thirties and if I shave I look almost late twenties. Oh, I hear that so much, dude. If I if I shave this thing off, which I haven't done in God well over a decade now. Um yeah, Jay Leno chin doesn't work. I'd probably look fifteen. Not great. <laughs> Welcome to the club, bud. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep up with you drinking. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yes. I'll never forget our buddy, Sean. That when we had the stupid fucking HR meeting in the hotel meeting room and the projector bulb was burning out. It was like pink. And like half of us were fucking hung over. Sean's, <laughs> Sean's out front dry heaving in a bush. <laughs> uh, those are the days. Do you like being 16? If so, have fun. Dude, for real. Fuck English. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, I miss being 16. 16 was a good fucking age, too. All right. I'm going to try to focus and keep going. Uh, so, dear diary, I don't understand what I was having in the house. I don't trust anyone. Last day I woke up and went to check on the kids. When I entered the room, I noticed a smell. The same smell that always accompanied Harold when he returned from a hunt. I looked under the bed and found the decapitative remains of animals. There was so much blood that was mixed with dirt and bits of fur. And that stench, it was all under the beds of my children. 
I took the kids to my room and ordered the servants to clean the mess. Who could have done something like that? It seems to me that someone is trying to drive me crazy on purpose and take away the only thing I have left, my children. I mean, that's one way to look into it, I guess. Finally, I have to find a job, high school, and try to ca- crash a car. Um, well, I'll tell you one thing. Finding the job thing is... I mean, it's a different time, obviously, than when I was looking for a job. But uh, definitely try to... <laughs> Twisted. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Bastards. Um, try to get jobs where your friends work, um, if that's possible, because they can at least put in a good word for you. Uh, and it makes it a lot easier because then you at least know people there and it helps. Because obviously one thing is when you start a new job is that awkwardness of like, I don't know anybody here. It's like starting a new school. Very similar. Um, and then high school? High school was rough for me. So I feel you. But it's it's worth getting through everything, man. It really is. Uh, and crashing a car, I think it'd be fine. Um, you just got to... Pay attention. Keep yourself concentrated when you're driving. It ends up being like riding a bike. And you, most important thing is you watch other people. Because <laughs> the other people on the road are sometimes the scariest. The word fun was sarcasm. Yes, high school is an ass. <laughs> After being fucking on hold for four fucking jobs. <laughs> yeah. Networking is the best skill to have. It can be. It really can. And sometimes it just it's a mess. But, you know. Practice, pay attention, defensive driving. Yes. Indeed. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and take this. That's terrible. Pinch your pickle daily. Good. Fathom. <laughs> what is this? Souls of the dead will never fulfill your request just like that. They like to make riddles that come to you only after you solve their riddles or fulfill their request. Okay. Usually these puzzles are connected with their life somehow. To solve them, I had to rummage through their past and learn all sorts of details of their life. Thanks to diaries, it was not difficult. But with children, it's not so simple. Basically, they want to play, but games are unusual. Sometimes the dead build barriers in the present through which a human can't pass. They open them only if you fulfill their conditions. But you must remember that they see the world quite differently. I mean, that's true. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh! I can't drive, but I need to learn before I move stateside. Yeah, You'll get bitch. there. Lamau. Shit! Lamau! Good, sir. Butt cheek, thank you so much for the biddies, as my fucking goddamn touch portal is delayed in updating the names. Sorry. That thank you is for so that thank you is for twisted for the last one. So the next person that gives bits, that one's for you, butt cheek. <laughs> oh shit. Um So, uh, what happened was I was reading this note, and the second I put it down, all these desks fucking flew across the room, and this chalkboard all of a sudden was right behind me. Yeah, I need to find the other parts of the photo. Bitch. Oakley with biddies, dude. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you, man. And again, the goddamn notification is way off. Oh, there's the other piece of the picture. All right, well, that was a really difficult puzzle. Oh, it's yeah, it half it. Twisted with biddies. Good lord. Are we on a hype train? <gasps> we on a hype train. Thank you guys for starting up a hype train. You crazy people. Feeling fat and sassy. I mean, always. Gotta feel fat and sassy. I was feeling fat and sassy today. Getting all mad at this Australian customer, customer of mine. Yeah, oh my lord. Mr. Fathom with biddies. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. I need to start pouring some whiskey soon, apparently. Um, it's the best state of mind. <laughs> uh, we need one more piece of this puzzle I need to find. Where could it be? Ah, I knew it. 
that wasn't that difficult. I was like, all right, I haven't checked that corner. Family portrait. I was on that photo. Does it mean that they're my family? Timmy and Ellie are my brother and sister. Then there's my... Timmy and Ellie are my brother and sister, and there's my mother. But who's the woman with a noose appeared around her neck? Holy shit. Sass with three fucking gifted oh God, subs. Oh, hot, 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 oh. Hot, 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 Great. Awesome. Fantastic. It's, it's, it's my okay. God. I guess Must I'm dying tonight. Kuriks. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm good. Feel a lot better. All right, great. Uh, that puts us at. Yeah, it's the sugar knock, bitch. Jesus Christ, three hundred more biddies. My word. Thank you, Twisted. Um, let me look back here for a second. So, Sass was. Yeah, it's the sugar knock, bitch. I'm sorry. Do what? Suck on that sauce. Shit. Butt cheeks with five hundred biddies. Fry with three hundred biddies. Spicy, spicy hot sauce. No. <laughs> spicy, spicy hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> Thank you all. Okay, so let me just catch myself up here for a second. Cause we oh my god. 300 more biddies for Mr. Fathom. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Really? <laughs> Hype train level 3, indeed. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me make sure I got my counts right. What the fuck? So Sass with three. Fry with two. Alright, that counter's off. You're lucky I because it was at one before. Twisted. Oh god, here it comes. Oh hot, 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 hot. So there's technically hot, 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 damn it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh god. Uh my god. Um, I don't recognize any of those usernames on there. That's so strange. It's funny how it does that. So there's five there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus the one that was already there. That makes it eleven. So I'm adding one. Eleven. Okay. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this, everybody. So that was a lot of bits. A lot, a lot of bits. Um, I fucking chills. <laughs> Christ. What the hell just happened? I'm trying to put a piece of a picture together and learn about that. This, you know, obviously this is my family and you guys are going ape shit over here. I need a stream assistant to count points for you. <laughs> Well, the problem is, is that I have this, I have Touch Portal on my Kindle that hooks, it, like, web hooks and everything, and it works great, but sometimes it just decides it's not gonna count one, or it's not gonna update files fast enough for one night, so it's like, do I have to really put in, like, a five second fucking delay on things? Maybe. Sass, those gifts are funny as shit. Fiery farts just tied for birthday. Hell yeah! How many hot sauces this time? Well, by basic math, it, uh, 3 goes into 11... 3 times? Good god. Ah, uh, touch portal. Love it, but can be so janky. Fucking Christ. Fry. Stab. <laughs> Three goes into twelve and even four times. It's four fucking hot sauces. All right, Let's start with some whiskey. You know what? Fuck it. There. Every last drop. Yeah, it took three beer. years. Butt cheek, thank you. 300 more biddies? My word! Thank you. Sauce for the sauce. Jesus. So this is it. Yeah, it's the uh, bitch. 
Gee, it twisted. Another hundred bits. My fucking God. Thank you all, everybody. Uh, so this is the Green Spot Whiskey. I've had this since my 30th birthday, almost three years ago to the day. And we finished it the night before, three years later. I actually saw the guy who got me this for my birthday yesterday. And I told him about this whiskey. And I was like, it's been really good. I'm almost done with it. Gonna miss that one. Your butthole's gonna love you later. I mean, it always loves me. Angriest anus the side of Hudson's Bay. <laughs> oh, God damn. All right. This is to all of you, all of you that are here. Fucking crazy people getting up to a level four hype train. Jesus Christ. Hey, after a minute, happy birthday. Hey, Mr. Torment's in here. Menti, how you doing, man? It is after a minute, isn't it? 1219. Look at that. So if we, if we want to be technical about it, if we want to be technical about it, I think I was born at like almost like quarter past six in the morning. Probably why I'm not a very good morning person. Imagine that's how you wake up. Bullshit. Um, she jokes, happiest birthday. Thank you, everybody. Twisted, what the fuck? Twisted. Oh my god. Too butt cheek with 200 more bees. What are you people fucking doing, man? Oh god. All right, let me drink this fucking whiskey. Um, I got four hot sauces. I get to fucking eat now. Uh, so to to all of you, twisted butt cheek, demon Oakley fruit. Fruit. Fr I can't even get through the whole oh fucking list. Alright, that audio is fucked up because I uh, whatever reason I, I don't know. This thing's fucking broken. I need to go through it and fix it at some point or start from scratch. I don't really know. Oh my God. What? Dad, are you alright? Yeah, I'm No, I'm good. Feel a lot better. Okay, so that's how we're gonna play it. Uh so butt cheek comes in with two gift subs and then twisted says let's make it another even three so three goes into 15 and even five times that's five fucking hot sauces now uh, christ okay well again let me kill the fucking whiskey <laughs> to everybody in here that is i don't care if you're giving bit I, I do care whether you're giving bits, whether you're gifting subs, whether you're resubbing, whether you're following for the first time, you're just chatting, or you're just lurking in the back going, look at this idiot. <laughs> whatever it is, I'm glad you're all here and a part of whatever the fuck is going on right now. Um, yeah, cheers. Oh my goodness, butt cheek, 25 more bits. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh, you know the worst part is? I have not got water yet. There's like a drop of water left in there from what I was drinking today. I didn't want to let you finish, giggity. <laughs> Twist it with another hundred bits. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, hot sauce. Night, Fry with another 100? Oh, shit! We, you guys fucking pulled it off. Holy shit. Level yeah, 5 complete. Night, what, are you, what are you doing? What? 15, 15... 1,515 bits, Mr. Fathom? What are you doing? Holy shit, guys, gals, and all my wait, wait, what is? Oh wait, what does Fishboat say? Fishboat has a great fucking saying for this. He says, "Guys, gals, guys, gals, and all my non-binary pals." That's a Fishboat saying to everybody here. What the fuck? I was trying to draw a penis with the bits. <laughs> what the fuck? That's hysterical. 
that is a hype train success for sure. Everyone shared those fucking choo choo emotes. Choo choo. Um, my God, I. I guess I could see what you were going for. <laughs> oh shit, my word. That is that was crazy. So in total, I just want to tell you how crazy all of you fine folk are in here. Uh, that hype train completed level five. And you all contributed a total of 14 gifted subs and over 5,300 bits. What the fuck? But cheek, that is 100% not the emote you got from the hype train. There's no way. <laughs> You're gonna need that shield for the hot sauce. No, I'm gonna need a fucking diaper. <laughs> Okay, all right. <clears throat> boop, ba -doop, boop, boop. And Twisted contributes to the Rage Stream Challenge. Good lord. Yeah, what do you guys do for a fucking living? What do I do for a living? Oh, you're saying them? We do a bunch of shit. Oh, Butt Cheeks giving channel points for the Rage Stream? Great. This is that our new thing we're going to do now? 80% raised. For the rage stream, good lord, them. Um, I'll let them respond. I work in uh, software support uh, for an iPhone app. That's what I do. I'm actually on call, uh, which is really terrifying because I'm probably going to have to go and open up the other bottle of whiskey because that was a lot of fucking goddamn bits. I suffer daily. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're loving that really emote, huh, butt cheek? Oh my word! G ropes giving up, giving some points to the rage stream. Fathom and one other contributed to rage stream. I mean, who doesn't suffer daily? Eighty-two percent raise. God, stop. Okay, we are gonna spin this wheel five times, and here's what I'm gonna do. Just because I feel like at some point I'm gonna end up hitting blanks on here. I'm. This is a big risk. Big risk, but. Just because what just happened, uh, fucking level five hype train, which I think we've hit, it's happened once before. Maybe, maybe once. Um, either way, astonishing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this thing five times and we're going to keep track of the numbers. So if someone wants to keep track in chat, that's cool too. If not, I'll do my best to remember. But regardless, when it comes to hot sauce, it's super zoom time. Okay. Let's spin this fucking thing. I just realized it's going to take me a while to get all the push-ups I have to. Oh, yeah, dude. You're fucked. <laughs> all right. Spin number one. That is... All right. We can see it. That's number seven. So seven is the first one. Spin number two. Uh, that's three. So seven and three. Seven, oh, two shots of seven. Fucking eat me. Seven, seven, three, seven. Fuck. All right, hold on. That didn't count. <laughs> Fucking amazing timing. <laughs> Alright, 737. Seven. <laughs> oh shit. 737. I'm a fucking professional. 737, seven. what is this? Don't tell me it's a 12. Oh, it's a 10. Oh, it's still bad. 73710. One more. Eight. <laughs> so we've got seven. We've got... Where's the three? I just had it a second ago. Where did you go? Well, I got the ten. I've got the eight. Where the hell is the three? It's like it disappeared. That's a six, a two, nine, five. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. Okay. 
All right. All right. All right. Seven three seven ten eight confirmed. <laughs> Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Oh. Good one. All right, so we've got seven. We've got three. We've got a second dose of seven. We've got a ten, and we've got an eight. Wheeler, I will. I'll take Ray Bork back. I'll go back in time and I will take Ray Bork back. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Okay. Um, how the f mm, Okay. No way, we already retired his number. Um, I'm sorry, I've seen plenty of sci-fi movies that are based on true facts, sir. That say I can go back in time and change the future. Ashton Kutcher did it for like an hour and 45 minutes. Just saying. No one can have the 77. <laughs> it's true. Which is funny. Because I feel like I'm doing 77 hot sauces right now. <laughs> if Ashton can do it, then anyone can. You know what? Words to live by. If Ashton Kutcher can do it, then you can do it. <laughs> Jesus. I need to minimize this screen because... Um, I was watching, I was watching Heavy play, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, but it got very light there for a second and it distracted me. Really? Off screen, he'll take a shot of Pepto between each one. Dude, honestly, that would probably make me puke. Like, that's not even, not even an exaggeration. Like, Pepto-Abysmal, I think, is worse for me. I don't know about anybody else. Every time I have tried to take that, whatever is bothering me gets a thousand times worse. I'll go, it'll go hot pink, hot pink. <laughs> this is fine. I fucking love that emote. Sass, who has that emote? I may just, if it's you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to laugh and be like, damn it, I should have. Still here just in a VC Discord call. Listen, one speed. You're, you're a good looking dude. If you're in a video chat with another attractive person and you're just kind of, you know. Yeah, it's a sugar knock, bitch. It's all good. I don't judge you. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. Dude, well played. Thank you for the biddies, my friend. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's get let's get rocking and rolling here. Um, so again, it's seven three seven ten eight. One speed dropping in some uh, more points there. Good God, how many? What's the total points of that? So we're over. Oh, that someone else just put something in there. We're at about two hundred ten thousand out of two hundred fifty thousand. Eighty three percent raised. <clears throat> My God. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. I'm going to power through these, not as fast as I can, but I'm going to do the best I can, and then I'm probably going to immediately go and get water. I'm going to be honest with you all. I'm going to need it. Like, the 10 alone, I need water for. The 7, I'm pretty sure, is the last one that tastes good. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, Bud Cheek. Uh, so the Rage Stream... Um, essentially is uh, there's a bunch of games that people would call rage games like uh for instance getting over it uh jump king alt f4 uh that type of stuff where it's just like that the game isn't it's it's not meant to be enjoyed you're gonna die or get reset a gazillion times and it's something i haven't done yet and i recently discovered that you can make these like um channel point like community goals and i figured well you know what let's go for it i don't have to worry about you know trying to get new followers trying to get you guys to gift more fucking subs after you've already sub gifted so many of them today uh so why not just try this new thing out and it's working pretty well i mean it's i've had to push it up a couple months but because i was also on vacation twice well i was gone for a week twice so i'm trying to be nice about it 
If I do a raid stream for the fundraiser match this August, it'll be Jump King. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I think that'd be good. Um, I also, there's a pogo stick one that Zio was playing. I can't remember the name of it. It has to do with, like, you basically are a pogo guy. And you go, like, you basically hit something, and you can rotate, and then pogo, and you have to, like, land on something else the right way, or you fall. Are you getting over it, and it's trash. <laughs> yeah, Danji did the pogo stick game. Looks terrible. Yeah, it does. So I have a lot of rage games available, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll make it, like, a Saturday, and we'll do, like, a handful of hours and try all of these games out. Uh, but anyways, let's get some hot sauces done. It is, it's already fucking 12.30. Jesus Christ. I got like, I think I've hit two save spots in this game so far. Yeah, quit stalling. Oh, relax. Good God. Okay, so number seven is first. Chuck the fuck <laughs> Oh my god. First off, fuck you, Spore. <laughs> Second off, Calamari Studios. Welcome in. Welcome to the Bob. Oh, it doesn't taste good anymore. Or maybe I got too much of it. Oh. Oh. Oh, of course one speed said he one speeds the fucking man. <clears> that was fantastic timing. Everyone's been getting really good timing on that shit today. Oh, this is not good. This is the first of five. Ugh. I have, I have nothing up here. Give this fucking towel. I'm gonna dry my tongue. <laughs> I'm saying you're a fucking gorgeous man, one speed. <clears throat> All right. Number three. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. One speed. That's what I thought. Ugh. It wheezes. Number three. This one's tasty. But it's still hot. What movie should you watch? Is there a movie about someone that eats a lot of hot sauce and dies? That one. Or I don't know, watch a documentary about Kobayashi. <clears throat> or me, yeah. God. <sighs> Back to number seven. No, that was three. But they compound. Stack. Whoa, you got it. You got a new gaming chair too. What did you get? Yes, I'm eating Secret Labs Titan XL for my fat ass. Ugh. All right. Reopening number seven. There, there it is. Oh, see, Herman Miller was my was my backup, but I read a few reviews for people that are over six feet tall and they weren't buying it. 
And you're the same height as me, Wheeler, right? You're six three. I'm around that. I'm like six two and a half, six three. It changes every year when I get my physical. I don't know why. Hey, your comfortability, right? If you like it, you like it. I end up getting a secret lab since it has a warranty. Before I was using some Chinese brand that broke too quickly. Um, don't buy that piece of shit. <sighs> it's the HM store here. Ah, that would do it. <sighs> when you say hot sauce, first thing in my mind, we rank when he drinks a ten bar of breath, breathes fire. Huh? Uh, yeah, Riz, uh, we're two out of five in. I gotta do three more. And they're all heavier ones. <sighs> Twin warrants on it, which is nice. Oh, dude, yeah, 12? Fuck yeah. You need a chair? RK, get one. Just do it. Get it. Thank you, Riz. Thank you. It is officially my birthday. At like 6.15 in the morning or something. But we'll take it. Today it is June 7th, 2022. Exactly 33 years after June 7th, 1989. And there's the last hint I'm going to throw at that. Try getting one that doesn't fall over so easily. <laughs> Good one. I'm coming back after those two. Still got three more to go. Second choice would have been the chair you ordered, except not the XL. Oh, yeah, because you're a lot lighter than I am. Which, hey, good on you. I wish I had some sim uh, similar build. Because, my God. I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> I don't follow what is math. You blew my mind with that fact jug. Oh, you know, well. Riz. I will say... The hint is my username. But some of you said the pad is a little hard. That's my problem with the Noble Chair Epic I've had for four years now. My, my bony ass doesn't sink into it at all. Um, <gasps> Kate! Hi, Kate! I can't wait to have some delicious, moist birthday cake tomorrow. <laughs> ah, technically, it's lemon squares. For whatever reason... I told Amanda one day that I really enjoyed lemon squares for my birthday. She did it one year. She was just, yeah, it's, it's like, a, like, whatever. And uh, I was like, yeah, I want these over birthday cake. <clears throat> Moist squares. Moist. Moist, 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 moist. Moist boxes, perhaps. Whoa, she knew the moment you started addressing her, she covered <laughs> Coys, I am an Eastern Standard. To the math, I may have forgotten to carry the one, but according to my calculus, you are 50. Riz, you're 100% correct. This is this is me at 50. I look like this at 50. You're right. Thank you. Instructions unclear. Put shoe on head. Instructions unclear. A dick stuck in blender. Okay. I'm going to keep moving with this because... You look great, 50. Thank you. I appreciate you. Sleepy time, Jug Boy. Hope your night is good, my man. And be well. Be safe, my dudes and dudettes. Spore, thank you as always, my dude. Have a great evening. Um, I'm going to try to get back into Tarkov soon. I promise at some point. I miss you guys a lot. He's 50 in kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, yeah, see, if we were in the U.S., it would be bullets per second. Yeah. Dick staying in Blender, even better. <laughs> I think Twitch fixed it so you can mute the channel and it still counts as a viewer. Really? <laughs> Is there a notification of that? I have not heard that. I mean, I'm not saying you're, it's not true. I just don't know. Uh, bro, we got a place to try to get ready for that arena. For real. Arena's going to be pretty fucking sick. I'm not going to lie. If anything, I'm not going to like it, and all the fucking chads will just go there. Jug, we are in the U.S. Uh-oh. Uh, anyways. 
hang out and listen to music. All right, take it easy, Demon. Have a great night, dude. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's true. I can link. Oh, and the link is broken. I'm going to actually open this up. I'm, I, oh, my. Oh. Who went over there? God. Okay, so if I do mute, does a muted stream count as a view? Yes, whether you mute the video player on Twitch or the browser tab, you still count as a viewer so long as live video is playing. Mm. Nice. I dig it. Um... What's interesting, though, is have they determined, or is it, I mean, it's probably still three, but how many, basically, how many lurks can you do for one account? I think it's three. I feel like that's been, from testing, that's been it. Oh, fascinating. That's great. You made that change not so long ago, so your bot lied. Well, technically, I lied. I wrote it. They're looking comfy in bed. Have a great night, man. So glad you're back. Hey, RK, you're too much, dude. Thank you so much for dropping in. Uh, go tell Kate to have a lovely evening, and I hope it is extremely dry and not moist. <laughs> My sister said they even have temp badges. People can display to say they are viewing without visual, viewing without audio. So when you can when you chat, the server knows how to interact with you if they want to. It's true. My alert account uh, over there. Um, I actually... Oh, she knew. <laughs> um, uh, I have a Lurk account that I use, and I actually set that up. So it's I always have it... I have the tab muted anyways, um, which seemed to count before. Uh, but that one, I have it. So it has like it has like, the, the speakerphone with like the slash through it, which is pretty cool. You're off to bed too, hoping for a dry and not moist evening. I, I hope so, man. I mean, it's it's not even that humid here either. And we usually get very humid around this time. So it's not moist here. You also need to sleep soon. Everyone's going to bed. I understand. Let me finish the hot sauces for everybody. <clears throat> so here's our second dose, number seven. All right, that one went down a lot easier. Oh god, there it is. I'm not going to bet I want to see the sauce get chugged. <laughs> Sass agrees. Alright, here's the worst one. Number 10. And by the way, for those who have not seen this before, it's on a scale from 1 to 12. And basically, I want to say at number 10 is when it gets, like, damn near fucking bad. Like, real bad. Rez, uh, oh my god. No, it was Sass. Oh, it was Sass. I read it backwards. Sorry. Sass, thank you for gifting the sub to Riz. Um, no more gifted subs tonight, please. Why does it say Captain Riz just got gifted? Oh, because that, oh, that one actually worked for once. Let me see really quick. Uh, when do they add the bullshit? Yeah. Number 10 is when they add the 1 million Scoville capsicum extracts. 10, 11, and 12 are the worst. 10, they add those extracts. Just one. 11 is two of them. 12 is three of them. They're all terrible. They don't taste good. Literally just a pepper. Just mold it down and bullshit. Turn it into a paste. This is fucking dog shit. Had to rescue you from the ads. <laughs> You're too kind. Thank you, Saz. 13 a dude just walks in and pepper sprays you. <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, and then 14 is they, they walk in, pepper spray you, and kick me in the dick. <sighs> okay. I got this. <sighs> Number 10. Oh, wait, is this, is this like a pasty one? No, it's not. Okay.
Oh no. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I just felt my saliva glands kick in. 15 is rubbed into the urethra direct. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Right on the meatus. Yo, is Rope still in here? G, uh, yo, Mr. Rope, if you're in here, this is the R-rated shit I'm telling you about. Okay, my water is officially empty. I'm in trouble. <sighs> you know the beer. You have to season your meat. Rachel Whoa! Ray. Coise. Oh god, here it comes. Oh hot 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 hot. Hot 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 hot. Am I working tomorrow? I'm technically working right now. I'm on call till 3 in the morning. My god. Must be over a hundred Kuriks. Yeah, are you alright? Yeah, I'm... No, I'm good. Feel a lot better. Thank you, Kois. But, god damn you at the same time. Oh, Maggers, thank you so much. Welcome in. Oh. It is. It's now my birthday. No. Fathom, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I now have to do two more hot sauces. I'm going to eat out of the way. Let's do it. Oh, one speed. Come on, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you are in California, so it's uh, nine fifty-one. First person to respond. Do I put the sauces back in and spin, or spin what's left? Come on. Sauce, bacon, spin. Got it. Riz won by a split second. Stop. Stop giving me money. Yeah. Uh-uh. You always sleep good luck with your sauces. Thank you, Fry. I appreciate you and everything that you do. Okay. Make a truce. I <sighs> spin to it. <clears throat> I spin twice more. <sighs> no birthday barf. <sighs> Oh, that 10 does not. The, the capsicum extracts are shit. Alright. We spin it twice. 
pull the sauces out. I'm reset. I'm gonna reset. Zero. Add the two leftovers. From now on. Any additional hot sauce of tomorrow? I'm shutting shot up. I'm shutting shop off tonight. I'm gonna have really bad heartburn tonight. I'm not supposed to have heartburn anymore because of a esophagus issue. I'm sorry, but I have to. I have to sometimes take care of my health. Sometimes. So I do the two. Spin the two. Okay, hold on. Oh god, my head's getting light. Okay. One. Uh, seven again. Taking it out. We're not getting two of the same thing. That's dumb. Oh my god, no. Oh. Oh, it's four. For some reason, I thought that was twelve. Okay. Yeah. Number seven and four are coming up. <sighs> um, so, as far as I understand, this doesn't require hot sauces. Happy birthday. Kois. Dude, thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, but thank you, seriously. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> I'm, I might die happy tonight. This is the third time I wrote this time of night that my internet died. Ooh, bro, get some Wireshark going. Figure out what's going on. I think I can do this. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Holy fuck. Ugh. Ugh. Um, here's what's going to happen. <clears throat> I need to get water. <laughs> um, so I'm going to toss up the BRB screen. I do not have a current call, which is great. Um, I will get some water. I'm going to come back. I'm going to have these two hot sauces. And then... I think that's going to be it. I'm going to bed. Happy birthday. Hey, Fathom. Uh, thank you as always, man. You're awesome. Uh, Back to looking to watch some Netflix. Rope. Mr. Rope, enjoy it. Uh, hope it's something good on Netflix. Uh, oh, my nose is fucking running. Uh, I'm going to push on the BRB screen. Enjoy some old clips. Some will have webcam me. Some will be... Old version jug with before the webcam. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Stay tuned for the epic finale of our hot sauces. Well, now that he's back, God damn it, Heavy, with the rate of six, everyone welcome in. Heavy hand swings, beating the shit out of his own ball bag or someone else's ball bag, for that matter. <laughs> I had five hot sauces, and I got two more to go. I love you too, buddy. I'm a uh, <sighs> yeah, so everyone, have you killed this horse? Almost killed another bastard. We're gonna go jump in. BRB screen. We're gonna have some clips. I need to go get some water. I'm gonna finish out these two hot sauces. I'm gonna feel, see how I feel now because it's it's almost one a.m. <sighs> Lurking while you eat pizza. That's that's a good excuse. Be right back. Woohoo! 
scared the fuck out of me, man. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck, man? Oh. They literally got me right, right as I started feeling comfortable with the game. Right as I felt comfortable. Oh my god. Just time it. Fuck. Fuck a boo. God fucking damn it. Oh. Well. That's what I get. That's what I fucking get for just talking shit. Oh, it's time. Uh, bad. I'm doing bad. Films or something. Not on site. Jesus. I don't know how I killed him through that flash. Why would you do that to me? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I almost fell off my fucking seat, dude. <laughs> Hello? I'll hit ya. What is that? Oh my god! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. It was a fucking trap. Just saw. That's gonna be the kicker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I just, just may have just shit myself. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I go away for another minute, and another raid came in? Diane? Wow, thank you. The Valorant Magician herself. Um, thank you so much for the raid. Everyone, welcome in. Uh, if this is your first time in here, I super appreciate you. Uh, I see Super Sophia jumped in here. Sending some fantastic emotes. Love them. <clears throat> Just catch, come on, check. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm almost there. <sighs> well, heck, welcome in. Jug is getting a drink because he's being forced to chug hot sauce on his birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Super Sophia, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the mob officially. Uh, that sounds terrible. I mean, it's it's something. It's something. And Diane, thank, thank you very much for the, the follow as well. Again, Welcome to the mob. Yo, Splitting Punches here. What is up? That's awful. Why would you do that? Uh, I, you know, glutton for punishment. It's a horrible thing to do to a 60-year-old. All right, fucking five minutes ago, I was 50. What is your math, Riz? What is your math? 
I'm gonna have to leave soon. Maybe I'm on ship still in a seven one k man. Ah, oh, bummer, dude. I feel you. I'm on call till three in the morning. So, if you got a dip, you got a dip. I appreciate you coming in. Um, really quick, what I'm gonna do? Um, where is it? I'm gonna make this happen. So, stem dealer. I go far back with him. Uh, shit, fucking almost ten years ago now. So this guy here. He and I, uh, for my first IT job out of college, we uh, went to training together, lived together in a hotel for like, what, two months? He just got, uh, he was in a jam on on, um, on itch, itch.io, and I can't recall the exact numbers, but I know his sound effects and... I think it was aesthetics were both in the top 10 uh, for voting out of like 950 fucking games. So please, please, I, I will be playing it too at some point. I'm just trying to catch up on the horror backlog, the hard indie game backlog and whatnot. But uh, that right there, please go check that out. Uh, the Project Phoenix game. Belongs to Steam Dealer. He did uh, a big, hefty bunch of that work uh, on that game. He deserves a ton of praise on it. And I look forward to playing it myself and then shitting all over it because it's probably terrible. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I watched. I watched. I think I watched the uh, the like the trailer for it. And it looked really fucking slick. So I'm looking forward to playing that for sure. And uh, I recommend everyone else. Um, you don't have a Chayo account? Get one. Uh, what the fuck? I'm so glad I have a new chair coming. This fucking chair sucks. I'm an IT boy too. Yeah, unfortunately, because I just, you know, again, glutton for punishment. Ten day push. Don't expect a AAA title. Dude. All right, listen. It's on itch.io. I think the biggest game to come out of that is Among Us, and that's not, like, a very aggressive game in terms of, like... I'm not saying their effort was lackluster, but let's be honest, it's not a very complicated game. It's miserable as... <laughs> miserable. Miserable is the start of it, my friend. Um, I'm on call... Uh, I just got back from vacation last week, and the vacation was terrible. I won't go into the reasons why, because there are some really dark things that happened to uh, me and my friends at a, a music festival in Baltimore. Uh, saw some shit that human beings are not really able to compress well. I fortunately missed it, but still, like, the anxiety and existential crisis that comes with what we saw oh you went to MDF <laughs> yeah yes I'm not talking about the autopsy pit <laughs> god um yes uh I was at so what fest on vacay the same weekend oh word so you probably had a lot well actually I haven't heard any news from that festival so I feel like you probably had a better time uh, <laughs> whiskey Rudd. Oh yeah, he yeah he did gift you a sub. Uh, welcome, man. Appreciate you dropping in, saying hi, and, and thanking one speed. He uh he gifted some subs earlier. Uh, appreciate you coming and saying hi. You caught COVID. Okay, that that sucks. I will say that. Um, a few, a few of my friends. So there was me and four other friends. I was fifth wheeling. One. Oh, Whiskey, thank you so much for the uh, the follow. Welcome officially to the mob. Um, and you subbed, which is great. Juggernaut is a legend like you. You'll love him. I mean, uh, not really a legend. I, everyone else probably is. Appreciate you, though. Um, so, yeah, regardless, I came back from MDF, Spleen, and I got back to work. This man. <laughs> All right. Whiskey Rush also love him. All right. So. My God. 
Must be over a hundred turrets. <sighs> Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm. No, I'm good. Feel a lot better. Okay. Spleen. <laughs> Thank you very much for this sub. Holy shit. Um. Good popping and be good. Hey, you too, whiskey. Um, I'll definitely uh, actually before I forget. I'll take this. Uh, I just hit you with the follow as well. And I will be sure to check you out the next time you are live. The real question was, how was day aside? Uh, I skipped them. But there's reason. There, There is reason. Um, there was other bands I wanted to see during day aside set. I have seen them like four times. Um, uh, Glenn doesn't do it for me live. The rest of the band's fucking great. Uh, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> good, good lad. I'm a good lad. Uh, but so basically, what I'm trying to say is, I got back from that vacation, which was anything but a vacation, and um, I forgot that I switched weeks for on call. I went on call. Uh, let's see. I got back from MDF. Um, 2.30 Tuesday morning. I had Tuesday off. Good move. Went back to work on Wednesday. Shit day. Thursday, I take over on call. And I'm on call until this Thursday. Weekends are 24-7. Uh, 20, sorry. 24-7 coverage over the weekends. Weekdays is 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Because I'm on the East Coast. If I was on the West Coast, it'd be 6... It'd be, um... 6 p.m. to midnight, which is fucking fantastic. Um... I've never seen them, so I've always wondered. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, like... I, don't, I didn't see the current set, but the last time I saw... I saw them play, Glenn just... He was up there wearing, like, a fucking wife beater... With like burger and beer stains on it, he didn't give a fuck. And um, I, it's de for for the, they were doing that Legion set, and that was fucking cool. I will say that that was it's it's cool that they were doing that because of all of all of the albums they could have done that. That was probably that would be my first choice. I feel. But honestly, even though I've seen this other band a ton of times, I think my set, my favorite set of the weekend, probably Obituary. Um, that fucking set was nuts. Went absolutely ape shit. All right. Um, so you know what? I'm putting my money where my mouth, where my mouth is. Yeah, Obituary is not your life. Correct. All right. I am resetting the counter for one reason and one reason only. You gonna reset? Fuck. Thank you. I'm doing one more spin. We will do the eighth hot sauce. Six, seven, and eight are about to happen because well, my birthday is six, seven, right? June seventh. Here we are. Thirty-three years old. Do the math. Damn it! Empty space. The one time I didn't anticipate that to happen. And that is number nine. Fuck my goddamn asshole. <sighs> June B Day gangs. Oh, Spleen, you have a you have a June birthday as well. That's fantastic. If you don't mind me asking, are you a, a early part of June? Late part oh June twentieth. Oh okay. I think, do I do I know someone June twentieth? Cause I'm I'm June 7th, my father-in-law is June 11th, and my mother is June 25th. Yours is next month. Riz, your birthday is every day, let's be honest. Every day is a good day when Riz is alive on this planet. <clears throat> yes. So it's funny, you say, so June 7th is 6 7 I'm 33 years old. If you do some math, you may notice something. We do love Riz. Riz is fantastic. 
We love Riz. We love Heavy, Fishboat, Wheeler, One Speed. I mean, fucking everybody, really. Every day is my birthday. I'm just a whittle guy, and it's my birthday. I'm a whittle birthday boy. I'm just a whittle guy. Ooh-woo. Back to number seven again. This piece of shit hot sauce. <sighs> okay. Beat oh, you, you are something else. All right, I'm moving right forward. I'm not dicking around here. Number four. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Four isn't as bad. For some reason, I thought four was really bad. For those that are new to this, this hurts me. Oh, this hurts you? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, the numbering system is one to 12. The ingredients of, num of each one is basically everything from the previous number plus something new. So number one is the most mild. Number 12 is basically death. I've only had number 12 twice, and it's bad. It does not taste good. It does not feel good. It is not enjoyable at all. Chug is just a whittle guy. <sighs> Heavy will love that when he gets back. Okay. One more. Number nine. There's no capsicum extract in here, which is great, because it starts at number 10. We already did number 10 today, and some good. Okay. Number nine. What the fuck? What's happening here? We good? Okay. There was a weird film there that went boop. This is so perfect. Ugh. Oh, every random nut tat makes him chug. No, please no. Also, I found cookies downstairs. So, you have very dense cookies. They might help. They might not. Chug Jug. I do already have Papa Jug. That's true. Now, plus, we have Jug Jugs. I lost to myself. Ugh. Ugh. You lose. Good try, Riz. <laughs> oh. Actually, I'm really concerned about my... Uh... I don't want a software update. I'm on call. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Um... I think this is like beer number four or five. Plus, we finished off the whiskey. You want to call it two? Shit. <laughs> well, hopefully, none of us get anything crazy. Ugh. Now, where's that water? You migrated to a new tenant? Uh, uh, uh. Like a new service provider? Also, after I, that's the worst time to be on call after a migration or during. <clears throat> uh. 
There are so many fucking empties next to me. <laughs> you got bought out, so your mid company split its ass. That sounds like fucking ass. Oh, oh my fucking stomach. Cookies and hot sauce and beer. Probably not a great combination. <clears throat> I swear to that myself, it's 40% of your team? Oh. That's the fucking worst. When COVID started, April 1st, 2020, my company laid off a third of their employees. Me being in support. <clears throat> Me being in support, I figured we're all safe. They laid off like four people out of my team, which is a lot for support. For that size we had at least. I mean, four is very, it, it's, it's quantitative, it's not qualitative. Ugh. It was like, <laughs> it was like 25% of our team got laid off. It sucked. We have the whole IT team, which was five of us. So wait. So you got laid off, but you're still doing their work? Or did you re did you like re interview and reapply and get another position with a new company? Oh my god. I probably didn't need that last hot sauce, but here we are. Got contracted for one of the companies we owned. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's good. That gives you time to at least get get work done, keep your pay going. But at the same time, I'm sure you're look. I don't know how long your contracts were, but I'm sure you're looking elsewhere, or you plan to. You don't mind me asking what so are you uh are you a sys admin i would assume so based on migration work but <clears throat> just out of curiosity because i've done i've done storage work i've done dr work replication mostly back-end shit behind the servers mm. backups those sucked uh, but now I work for a company that makes an iPhone app. It's all APIs. It's interesting. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> I should have probably changed the category to just chatting like a fucking hour ago. But I wasn't ready for what was about to happen. I'm just a help desk admin, but I've done most of the back end migration. Oh shit. Dude, hats off to you. If I had a hat on, I'd tip it. Ugh. I never I never had a help desk spot, and I got yelled at a few times about that, to be honest, which is really funny. Um when I was applying for jobs as to try to get a development job. Fresh out of college, they were pissed. They didn't have any uh, experience, which obviously is a big thing nowadays. They said, "How am I supposed to get a job being a software developer as I'm in school, getting my degree to be able to become a software developer?" It just a lot of chicken and egg scenario, you know. And uh, yeah. They got mad. They're like, "Why would you? Why would you doing help desk support?" And I was like, "I, <laughs> I." There was a, my college had a team that did that, and also, even if I tried to apply for it, they were probably like, "Oh, you parents make too much money," and it's like they make too much money, but then they couldn't pay the loans back, like, or it took a while for them to pay the loans back. 
Fighting for tech support in the music technology space. All right, that sounds pretty fucking cool. Just kind of shifted into it, but I used to do networking. Oh, all right, all right. Word. Yeah, networking is always something I've had to deal with. Fortunately, though, the current job, if there's a networking issue, I just go talk to your IT team. That's it, which is awesome. Because nothing is worse than having to explain to someone when you have logs in front of you that shows there's no traffic over this port because you're blocking it. And they're like, my firewall is wide open or I don't have a firewall. Don't bullshit me. <clears throat> you have a network admin now and it's great. Oh, that's well, If you have one, that's great. Because usually they're very good at what they do. But, like, the boomer ones, they're like, ah, I built this network back in 1982. And I'm like, that's fucking cool, dude. But this is a TCP dump that says you're an idiot. <laughs> like, like, what do you want me to do? Oh, my God. All right. Oh. Oh, my stomach. Oh. <laughs> He's a young dude who loves dance, Gavin Dance. So you have you have a good network admin probably then. Didn't there just some news just drop about Dance Gavin Dance? I'm pretty sure is the singer the singer left because of like some serious shit, right? I feel like I just heard them them get mentioned recently. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I thought so. Interesting. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since so I used to I worked with the guy two jobs ago and then a couple months at the last job before this job who was like really big into like grindcore, power violence, hardcore, uh death metal. He was actually in a power violence band um for a few years while he was going to ITT Tech. Oof. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're on Bandcamp called, I think called Crippling, Crippling Fear. And, uh, he was a pretty good vocalist. Now he's IT guy. Um, I think he's in professional services now. Back with the company that I used to work with him at. He went back. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's married and has a daughter. And, like, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, can't really do power violence anymore. Do gotta be an adult. So I'm like, good for you. Do you know my homies be at Creeping Death? You have one of your friends is in Creeping Death? Bro, I love Creeping Death. They're so good. They're so good. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. All right, I can't drink any more beer. And like I'm down to like just ice in here, and it's still fucking hot. Let's I put these away. Oh, it, by the way, if anyone else feels like getting really mean, try to make more eat hot sauce. Make, eat, make me eat more hot sauce tonight. It's not happening, but if it happens, I will certainly pick it up tomorrow as part of the birthday stream. Can you get in the fucking box, please? No? All right. Fuck you then. My word. Eight hot sauces. That might be a new record. Might be a new record. Yeah, I want to so what to hang with the dudes from I Am and Creeping Death. Nice. I feel like I've heard of I Am. But, like, it's just in passing. But it's one of those things where it's like, I've heard the band, but I haven't heard any of the songs. I'll have to hit them. Up. I'll check them out afterwards. Deathcore band turned death metal. They rip. Oh, so is it J is it JFAC? Like, <laughs> I mean, obviously, probably not. But, uh, but you know, I, I, those deathcore bands, I feel like I have more respect for because, I mean, as you, I'm sure as you well know, like those mid 2000s early 2010 deathcore was like it you when you listen to that shit 
it was like there's nothing heavier on the fucking planet. This is this is the top tier fucking heavy shit you can listen to. Rudacious has a good record. Oh, yes, yes. In fact, I actually have a um. I don't, not ruination, but I have a shirt. It's funny enough, I don't know if Menti Torment is still in here, but um, I remember when I was, I, I, I think I found him on like, so, so I found it on like the featured page or something, and I was going to raid him. And I open for whatever reason, for one time ever, I open up the stream first to see like what they're doing. He was wearing the same job for a cowboy shirt that I was, and it was the Genesis album artwork. Not, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, rating right now. Rated him, and I was like, and he's like, oh, dude, thanks for the rate. I'm like, I'm wearing the same shirt. Like, just pfft, right there and then, I'm wearing the same shirt. Gotta set the fucking bar. Like, I'm going to be weird about it. But yeah, that was, uh, it's always fun when you find people that are into, like, similar music that you are. Or even, like, even in general, just finding people that are into music as much as you are. Maybe not the same shit, but just having that, like, oh, like, your fucking, like, hair stands up on your arms when you hear a good fucking guitar riff. Like, or... You know, or some people need the breakdown or a guitar solo or you know, some crazy bass or whatever, whatever. Um, and it's it's definitely it's definitely a characteristic that not everybody has. Like it's so like my wife Amanda, like she's like she likes music, but she's not she's not like the same type of I need music like I do. So it's it's funny. Yeah, yeah, dude, exactly, exactly. I think it's the big reason, I think it's the biggest selling point, honestly, about going to festivals is meeting people like that. Um, and you're meeting people that you know are into the same stuff you're listening to, too. So it's like an additional bit. Because, like, I've been, I, this is my fourth MDF trip, and I've always met some people from all over the place. I mean, I've met people from Norway. Uh, tons from Canada. I met two dudes from Saskatchewan. That was different. I'm like, do you guys have electricity there? They're like, yeah. <laughs> but apparently their venue was like a fucking four hour drive away. So they hardly ever got to shows. So all of the music they ever found was on the internet. And that's why they found all this weird fucking underground grindcore and power violence and black metal and all this other shit. And that's MDF worked. Um, uh, tons, tons of people from Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, all over the U.S. I mean, fucking crazy. <sighs> well, uh, I did not get very far into Silver Chains like I wanted to, but I think that's a good thing. We had a lot of people come through to <laughs> this evening. Uh, I mean, I, I don't even know how to begin to express my gratitude on the new followers, new subscribers, resubscribers, bits, fucking Koiser with a 50 dono, like, Jesus, fuck. So thank you, everybody. Um, I need to figure out who the fuck we're gonna raid. Um, I'm not gonna play any, yeah, I, I am finishing up. It's it's uh, it's 1.30 in the morning here. I kinda wanna chill out a bit. Maybe hit the head. I hit the head. Why do I do that? Why? 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 Hit the hay. Go to bed. Hit the head means you want to go take a leak. Have a great joke. Hope you don't suffer too much. I mean, I'll let you, I'll, I'll send you pictures tomorrow, Riz. Don't worry. <laughs> Deserve it all. Corn husk show. I don't know who Corn husk show is, but I'm intrigued. Or Fox Ann. Okay. I just want to see who, I, I want to see who else is on here. And eh, not toast. I had someone raid toast rack last night. Not hack. Um, you know what? Jesus, one speed. My God. 
All right, let's see. Uh, let me go see what these these fine folk are doing. Thank you, Splain. I will. Uh, these are my homies. Welcome to meet them anytime, homie. All right, so let me see what they're up to then. So corn, corn husk show. Oh. Trying Dr. Pepper, Dark Berry, Ghost Pepper, Almonds, more mood. Oh, Cornhusk is playing Murder House. I don't want to look at the other two people. We're done. It's it's over. We're going to fucking raid Cornhusk show because because he's playing Murder House. And I fucking loved this game. I love puppet combo games. Thank you. Oh, thank you again for the raid. Thank you so much. Uh, super, super awesome um, to to get a follow from you for sure. I mean, I've 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 seen you play Valorant with the typical crowd there a few times, and uh, you school the fuck out of them. So, <laughs> uh, so thank you again. I do, I hit you with the follow as well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna raid Cornhusk Show. If you all have not seen any murder house gameplay outside of you know what's on my youtube channel <laughs> uh corn husk is playing it live right now and like i will say this is the first big game that papa combo got out i mean nun massacre or night of the nun as it got renamed um was the one that really got him on the map but i think murder house really set him apart so uh, let's let's set this rate up. Um, if you if you all could do the big favor, hop into this raid with me. Say hey in chat. If you happen to be a subscriber, dump emotes in. Um, if you're not a sub and you subscribe somewhere else, use your favorite emotes, whatever you want, and just plague this chat with the, with just because the jug mob is taking over on this one. I'm gonna try to hang in there for a bit. Um, cause, uh, I, oh yeah, he just, he just found Gary. Ha 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 Oh, it's such a good scene. It's awesome. All right. Anywho, thank you all so much. I'm going to be back tomorrow night. I'm going to figure out what the fuck I'm going to play tomorrow. Uh, Silver Chains will come episode two later. I'm going to get back into a story game, a longer game. Um, maybe not a triple A, but we'll see what happens. Smashing stream, sir. No, you're smashing. And then we're going to be smashing into Corn Husk right now. Uh, have a lovely evening, everybody. Or morning if you're one speed because he's crazy and doesn't sleep. <laughs> See ya.